Alright, we are making this Persian dish called, uh, what's the name? Kebab Shami. Ingredients basically uh, meat, chickpeas, flour, and other stuff includes obviously onion and uh, some other things that as I go along you're going to see what I'm doing. Peel the onion. And since I'm going to use blender, I don't have to chop it well. break three eggs into the blender I will add salt pepper to it in a minute and uh, let me get my salt and pepper a little bit of what we got here? Turmeric, just a little. It's good for your health. And pepper, salt, we're gonna, later on, you're gonna taste it, add more salt to it at a later time. So, I also put a little bit of saffron here. That gives a nice golden color to it later on, a nice flavor. Okay. Now we have this, we got to Chickpeas here in the bowl. I put a little hot water here because I want this sauce to be watery. So now I will add this combination to the flour I need next thing I do make sure I close the chickpeas so it doesn't air doesn't get into it and put it away and then I get meat ground beef you need a bit of a fat in the meat you don't want to buy 95% probably 80% is more appropriate get some of that meat and put it in the sauce Basically, it comes down to having a meat, chickpeas, 
onion, salt, pepper, eggs, and you make a batter with it. And then you cook this batter, you let it sit for about half an hour, and then you use this batter, make like a pancake. It takes a bit longer than a pancake and needs much more oil. But first, I need to mix it very well. As I mix it, as I need, I add more hot water to it to keep it watery. And later on, you're going to see why I want it watery because I want it spread in the pan like pancake. Pancake, you want to have a thick, watery sauce. And I do the same thing here. Every time I add water, I make sure I mix it well. I just want to make sure it's mixed very well. It is not uh, relatively good, but nice consistent sauce. You want to have a nice consistent sauce. Nice consistent batter or combination of meat and flour. It's not water enough. I'll just add more water to it. Probably that's all I need now. You gotta add the water a little bit at a time. You don't wanna to add too much at once because then it becomes hard to mix. And as you mix it, you can smell the flavor of chickpeas. Oh, it's pretty nice batter. That's it. You're gonna let it sit for half an hour, then we come back. Okay, the batter looks nice. A little bit thicker than I like it to be, but I just want you to get a feel for how soft the batter is. I like it a little more waterier than this, but it's okay for the time being. First thing, just heat up the pan. Uh, I have a plate that I'm gonna serve the finished uh, kebab shami on it. Since I don't like too much oil on it, I put a paper towel here. I put the, once it's cooked, on the paper towel for five, 10 minutes to soak in that oil out. Also, I recommend to get the screen so you can put it on the top of the pan to prevent oil splashing all over the kitchen or stove top. All right, put some oil. In this case you need a bit of oil because in a sense you are frying that meat and you want it to be very hot. So as soon as the meat hits the pan, you can hear that uh, sizzling. And the reason I want it watery, because I want to have it very thin. Because I like it thin, and I like the middle soft. So that's the taste. You want to cook more, you uh, do it as you wish, but we make sure that this oil is really hot. One way of finding out if it's hot, just uh, not hot enough. I just put a little bit of batter on the corner, see how it sizzles. I say it's not hot enough yet. So I don't want to just cook one at a time. I'm just going to cook a few at a time. I just get some batter. Uh, 
Make a real nice round patties. Doesn't be as to be exactly round. This is a little bit harder to flip it over, but you want to just get browned, not too cooked, not too uh, dry, but cooked a little bit. And then we're going to move it around. You can see that. Uh, just I did it not do a good job here. But. Takes probably about a minute and a half to two minutes on each, uh, on one side, less on the other side. I cook it mostly on one side. Here's a nice golden patty re uh, ready to eat. You can garnish it any way you like. Tomatoes, pickles, uh, um, uh, lettuce, whatever else, but it's ready. It's all it takes is about two and a half minutes, uh, about a minute and a half on one side, a minute on the other side. Bon appetit.